Hey guys, recently I've been getting into the ancient game of Mahjong, and it is a blast. It's ancient as hell, and it looks really complicated uh, when you watch it at first, but it's actually pretty easy to learn. It only takes a couple minutes, so please enjoy this quick Mahjong tutorial. So Mahjong is played with four players. If you don't have three other friends, please stop this video and go kill yourself. You grab a bunch of tiles and you flip them up all at once like that and hope none of them just go flying. Uh, they can cause minor skin irritation. This guy's getting a little itchy here. And right away, it's just a free-for-all. You just start putting tiles in the middle before your opponents are even ready. It's complete pandemonium. This guy here has two matching green squiggles on the left. That's a hot start for Peng. And uh, it's a lot of just reaching and grabbing. No one's really paying attention to each other. This guy has, I'm um, counting eight meatballs. We'll see if that goes into play. Oh, this guy has two rows of tiles. You can do that if you're into, like, depth of field type stuff, if you're a photographer or something like that. And, uh, ooh, this guy has an upside-down bird tile. See if that comes into play. It's supposed to, and he's playing, he's playing the upside-down bird. He play, That's a bold move. Still has those seven hot dogs. Cheng Lung Peng is, let's just say he is absolutely fucked. Here's a good hand. This is a set here on the left. See, that says, see how it says tax across the top? This is a tax hand. You use that when one of your opponents plays a Wesley Snipes. And Suzuki here opting to hold on to his sword, bow, and arrow on the left. I might use that to cut up some of those meatballs, but I'm old school. Now, as you can see, this table has a hole in the middle. You have to get a special table for this game with a hole in the middle, and that's where you put your snacks. Cheng Long Peng grabs a bird and puts it upright for once. Interesting maneuver. And now he's tickling the table, folks. Let's see that again in slow motion. Yep, that is vintage Chang Lung Peng tickling the table. A lot of people don't believe in tickling the table, but if that table is ticklish, that could be a huge advantage. Suzuki, very few tiles left. Gotta assume he's pretty sad. Zhao, ooh, Zhao getting violent, knocking over tiles in an attempt to intimidate his opponents. Chang Lung Peng has a shit ton of tiles. That is one technique if you want, because the tiles do have little candies in them. Sui Kui Lai, as you can see, has 17 meatballs, two waste management tiles, and now he is playing the four hot dogs in an attempt to to expand his life expectancy. Zhao holding on to that Papa John's tile on the left. Positively hoarding tiles is Zhao. He must be going for those candies. Yeah, look at that guy. He's absolutely fucking starving. And Cheng Long Peng grabs a second bird. He now has two birds, which can only be killed with one stone. Tax man is in good position here. He's got 17 meatballs and a bunch of hot dogs. We'll see if a backyard barbecue power play comes into effect later. Zhao showing off that wingspan, reaching across the table pretty rudely. Nary even a pardon my reach. And he decides to play the, whoop, that's it. That's the end. Look at that. Vegas, baby. And that's pretty much it. And then at the end, whoever has the most is winning is the is essentially the winner. It's a pretty easy concept. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to go fuck yourself. I'm busy.